How you doing, folks? Uh, a little bit different today from my usual shite that I put up. Um, doing a wee uh, competition entry for Jared Ultimatum's 300 subscribers giveaway bonanza. Uh, <laughs> aye, so basically the concept of this competition, I believe, is to pick two action figures that you kind of like and basically to say who would win in a fight. <laughs> Which is cool. Uh, I like that. So, I've chosen my favourite two kind of bad guys. Well, my ultimate favourite. Which is this man here. It's Galvatron. Uh, he is from the 1980... Oh, I keep getting this year wrong, but I'm sure it's 1986. I can hear the cries of the Transformers community. No, it's 1985. But I'm pretty sure it's 96. See if I'm wrong in 95 and 1986. Then, Jesus, there's something wrong with me. But anyway, I can never remember dates. I'm sure it's 1986. I've got that feeling. Anyway, that's nothing to do with anything. Uh, so, yeah, he's from the 1980 uh, movie, the Transformers movie. Basically, he is a reincarnation of Megatron. Now, basically, if you don't know the, the plot of the movie, it's basically about this massive jumbo-sized robot called Unicron, uh, which is basically eating planets and causing havoc. Um, it's just been a right pest, to be honest. <laughs> so the Autobots kind of club together and think, fuck's sake, we need to sort this out. So uh, Optimus Prime, uh, he ends up taking on most of the Decepticons at one go because apparently they, they sort of uh, surprise attack Earth Base 1, or whatever it's called. Uh, Optimus is up in, the, up in the sky and he's like, fuck this, I better get down and sort it out. So he comes down, uh, Megatron's there. Uh, they have a big battle, um, Megatron gets a right good beating off uh, Optimus Prime. This is, by the way, this is after Optimus Prime has pretty much single-handedly taken out every single Decepticon when all the other Autobots were just shooting at fucking air uh, <laughs> until he flew down and just blew them all to bits. Anyway, uh, so uh, they have a big battle. Uh, at the end of it, Optimus Prime, actually Megatron wins because Optimus Prime dies. Uh, Megatron is so badly damaged he's flown away in a spaceship with uh, Starscream, his second in command uh, while that's happening uh, yeah, so that's that's that part they fly away, basically Megatron's jettisoned out the plane uh, Starscream's sick of him uh, and Unicron picks him up, and basically the only thing that could kill Unicron is the Autobots Matrix of Leadership and that is, obviously now that Optimus Prime's dead, Ultra Magnus has got it now, which is the Autobot second in command. Uh, so basically, he gives Megatron a choice, help me get the Matrix of Leadership, and I'll rebuild you and give you new troops to command. Uh, and this is his reincarnation, it's Galvatron. Now, Galvatron in the movie has got a different voice to the cartoon, uh, to this cartoon series, but I like... I like the Galvatron from the cartoon series because I think his voice is just fucking excellent. Um, as a toy, this is a G1. It's the original G1 Galvatron. Galvatron's actually purple in real life. Uh, in real life, because he's a real thing, Jeff. No, <laughs> uh, in the cartoon. But, uh, aye, so that's him. Uh, he's, he's a badass. He's a big fucking huge robot. Um, what else can I say about him? He's got a massive plasma cannon there. He uh, turns into a big tank, sort of tank gun thing. Uh, pretty much destroys uh, Starscream for throwing him out the the plane. Um, it turns him into dust with that plasma gun, so he is a pretty evil bastard. Uh, he will uh, pretty much kill his own mother to get ahead. Um, he's always coming up with these schemes to take over the world, and he hates... He fucking hates the Autobots. Uh, <laughs> he's not a big fan. He's always trying to kill them. Uh, he wasn't a fan of Optimus Prime either. Um, he's not really a fan of any of them. But his main sort of adversary is Rodimus or Hot Rod. And also in the film becomes Rodimus. But anyway, it becomes Rodimus Prime. But anyway, that's all pish because it's about Galvatron. Uh, yeah, so his basic features are he's super strong. He's fucking huge. Uh, Transformers were big to sort of human size, so compared to the guy I'm fighting him against, he's massive. Um, 
he can transform, he can fly, he's, yeah, he's evil as sin, man, <laughs> he doesn't like a lot of people, um, even his own sort of colleagues, like his second in command Cyclonus, he gives him a lot of bullshit all the time, sort of throws him into lava and fucking has a good laugh at him and basically just bullies them, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but his voice is just cracking and he comes up with some absolute mental stuff, he just starts talking to himself and all sorts of stuff, so anyway, that's, that's Galvatron, a big fucking robot, uh, basically, so, yeah, if you haven't seen the cartoon, I've, I've, I've pretty much ruined the story for you. Well, I haven't told you the end, uh, but aye, you've got to watch it, because it it's fantastic. Uh, but anyway, this is who he'll be fighting against, and this is the Ghost Rider. Now, the Ghost Rider is my second favourite bad guy. Um, basically, uh, he made a pact with the devil that he would become kind of the devil's sort of soul gatherer, bounty hunter-esque type thing. Um, basically only, he only turns into the Ghost Rider at night, um, and when he does, his basic job is to ferry the souls, take the souls to the devil, um, so yeah, he's, he's pretty awesome, all kitted out in leather, flaming skull, I mean, what more, <laughs> he's just fucking insane, um, he's basically indestructible at night time, but he only turns into the Ghost Rider at night, or oh, there's no sunlight, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, so that's him. He's, he's got he's pretty strong. Uh, he's got a chain that just kind of goes on fire, which I don't have at the moment, and that can pretty much never breaks. Um, but his main sort of power, if you will, is his uh, penitent sta stare. I think that's how you say it. Uh, basically, he stares into his opponent's eyes, and uh, basically all their sort of bad things they've done, all the sins they've committed, magnify, and it blows their fucking head off pretty much. <laughs> Just like a mad trip, and uh, just blows their head off. Um, so I, so that's him. Uh, who would win in a fight? Who would win in a fight? God, it's a tough one. I really want to see Galvatron. He's a big robot. He's fucking beastie. He's got a big gun. He can transform. He could probably stamp on him. But when you're saying that, you know the Ghost Rider is indestructible. If they fought at night. And the Ghost Rider used his permanent stare, then well, I don't know. See, would that work on a on a machine? I'm not sure if it would. But he, he's got a personality, and he must have a soul. Well, maybe he doesn't, because he? he's a machine. I don't know. That's a tough one. So if it, because he's indestructible and he's got his permanent stare, but works on robots, then the Ghost Rider would win. He'd have to win because um, he basically can't be killed. If it was during the day and he was in a human form, Galvatron would absolutely destroy him. <laughs> so it's fucking absolutely maul him. Um, but let's make it fair and let's let us let us make them fight at night, say. I reckon with a heavy heart, because Galvatron is my hero, <laughs> that the Ghost Rider would come out on top. Uh, it would be an epic battle to see, like, I'd really like to watch that, um, yeah, I would, I'd be cracking. Alright, so that's it, that's just my wee entry, um, I hope I win, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what you win, um, but aye, be grand. So aye, uh, check out Jared Ultimatum, I've already put a link in the description to his channel in a previous video, and I, if I can be f can figure out how you do it again, I might do it again. If not, check him out. He's on my. I'm, I like him. I follow him on the old YouTube, so check him out. Uh, and I uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Cheers, folks.